This episode is brought to you by Domain.com. People are a little freaked out about a recent deadly superbug outbreak in Los Angeles. But what are superbugs and why are they such a problem in hospitals? <laughs> Hey everyone, Julia here for D News. The recent outbreak at a UCLA hospital was caused by a strain of Carpe Panum Resistant Entobacteria C, or CRE. According to the National Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CRE can lead to death in up to half of seriously infected patients. CRE is kind of a superbug, a bacteria that involves resistance to most antibiotics. Hospitals tend to be the epicenter of superbug outbreaks. The combination of a high use of antibiotics and lots of sick people packed into one place seems to be a breeding ground for them. Some bacteria aren't transmitted all that easily. They're not like a cold which can travel on a sneeze. Caregivers like nurses can spread bacteria through touch. Let's say a nurse touches a wound or a stool sample of an infected person and they don't wash their hands enough. Then they touch another patient who is already vulnerable because of their wounds or weakened immune systems and get an outbreak. Sometimes superbugs can live on an instrument, like an endoscope, which is not properly cleaned between procedures. It seems this is what went wrong in UCLA. Caregivers didn't realize the patients carried CRE and normal sanitation methods weren't enough to kill it. From the discovery of penicillin in 1928, we've lived in a golden age of treatment for bacterial infections. These drugs saved millions of lives. But scientists fear this heyday is coming to a fast end. Bacteria have evolved faster than we can keep up. It's become an arms race and we're losing. We are are now defenseless in the face of certain strains of bacteria. According to the World Health Organization, one of the most common superbugs, MRSA, is 64% more deadly than non-resistant strains of the bacteria. Dr. Keiji Fukuda, WHO's Assistant Director General for Health Security, says the world is headed for a post-antibiotic era in which common infections and minor injuries, which have been treatable for decades, can once again kill. Antibiotic-resistant bacteria is a growing epidemic, according to the CDC, mostly because too many doctors overprescribe antibiotics and patients don't use them properly. We're also exposed to antibiotics that are overused in farm production. Unfortunately, research into new antibiotics has been slow. In the past 30 years, there's only been one promising new antibiotic class. Recently, researchers from Northeastern University identified a potential new antibiotic found in dirt in a grassy field in Maine. In tests, the compound, Tixobactin, killed off a ton of bacteria, even ones that are currently resistant to most antibiotics. But it's still a few years away from reaching patients. But at least there's some hope. So what do we do in the meantime? For the strains frequently found in hospitals, it's crucial for caregivers to wash their hands often and to sterilize equipment properly. Doctors should prescribe antibiotics only when necessary. Antibiotics don't work for viruses, which cause things like the common cold and flu. As for what you can do, don't take antibiotics unless prescribed and take the whole course of them to make sure you've killed them all off. Maybe reduce your use of antimicrobial soap. In 2014, Minnesota banned the use of antimicrobial soap, citing some health concerns, including the rise of resistant bacteria. If you want to learn more about how antimicrobial soap might be a problem, check out Trace's video right here. So are you scared of superbugs? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're at it, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons and keep coming back here for new episodes every day of the week.